King Charles sends message on research into rare cancer. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. King Charles sent a message regarding research into a rare form of cancer. The 75-year-old king sent a message of support to the sarcoma community, saying he was encouraged by the search for new treatments for sarcoma cancer. The king's letter was read by Baron Young of Old Windsor on the night of the Chris Martin competition at Lancaster House. The event, attended by government ministers, members of parliament, Chris Martin's family and friends, and members of the sarcoma community, was held to raise money for Sarcoma UK. Chris Martin, the former general manager at No. 10 Downing Street and husband of prominent BBC journalist Zoe Conway, died in 2015, two years after being diagnosed with a rare sarcoma cancer. Since his death, Conway has been at the forefront of raising money for sarcoma research and is currently an ambassador for Sarcoma UK. Reading the King's letter, Lord Young said, having had the good fortune to meet Chris Martin when he was Principal Private Secretary to the Prime Minister, Lord Cameron, His Majesty has asked me to convey his sincere support as we come together to celebrate Chris's life and raise awareness of sarcoma. His Majesty the King has encouraged research into new treatments and research that will ultimately lead to a cure for these cancers. The King commends you all for your support of this most important cause. King's statement gave an important voice to raising awareness of sarcoma. Although this is relatively rare, about 15 people are diagnosed with this rare type of cancer every day. The Chris Martin Fund has raised more than a quarter of a million pounds for sarcoma research. Martin was particularly keen on genomics research. Richard Davidson, chief executive of Sarcoma UK, welcomed the King's comments, saying there was much to look forward to in the search for new treatments for sarcoma. Because of its rarity, our understanding of sarcoma lags behind other types of cancer, he said. The Chris Martin Fellowship was created to raise funds for groundbreaking genomics research that could unlock a deeper understanding of the genetic drivers of sarcoma. The fund, which has raised more than £250,000 to date, has helped Sarcoma UK invest more than £750,000 in three leading genomics research programmes. The first, conducted at University College London, was a landmark study that revealed new mutations and provided the first atlas of the molecular signatures of sarcoma. Building on this foundation, a team from the University of Birmingham has been able to use cutting-edge technology to illuminate the roots of liposarcoma and identify potential therapeutic pain points. Recently, researchers at the University of Southampton have been exploring whether some of the genetic aberrations discovered in previous studies can be targeted using existing drugs or new therapeutic compounds. Their work holds promise for new treatments for liposarcoma patients. The groundbreaking knowledge gained from genomics research is already bearing fruit. It has leveraged follow-on funding, sparked new studies, and, most importantly, has begun to shape and improve the clinical care that sarcoma patients receive. We are committed to keeping families together longer by transforming sarcoma treatment through the genetic revolution. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.